great marketing will kill a mediocre business. Now, if you've listened to this podcast at all, I've talked a lot about marketing. We've had a lot of gym owners uh, start doing the tactics and tips that we've applied and are getting flooded with leads. Now, that can be a problem if you don't have a really good appointment setting system and a system for getting the appropriate appointment show up rate. Now, in the fitness industry, a lot of that happens in the initial interaction and on the phone call is going to dictate how likely the person is to show up. If there's not a lot of commitment, you're going to fall below the bar. Now, the bar that we set is 75 to 80% of appointments that get set show up, all right? It equates for life happening, schedule conflicts or whatever, but 80% is the gold standard. And I'm going to teach you how to elevate your business to that 80% show rate if it's off track. Now, again, your appointment show rate is a, is a bottleneck that a lot of businesses struggle with. Now, we never struggled with that until we started growing immensely fast and our systems just were not meant to keep up with the, the sheer volume of leads that we were getting. It's a good problem to have, but it can lead to a bad reputation if you get a lot of people that start to say, oh, well, you know, I reached out to that gym and they never got back to me, right? So building a proper system will improve your show rates and avoid that harm to your reputation. And it's going to show up on the bottom line. The faster you can get appointments to show up and close, the better your business will be, period. So here's my tips for improving your appointment show rate. Uh, and it's probably stuff that you haven't heard before. So the first thing is, this is a really critical part of your initial sales process. So the way our business does it is leads will come in, They'll get some automated messages, but then we've got our trainers and salespeople that are calling the leads and getting them on the phone. When they get the person on the phone, it's critical that they go through our sales process. I have a whole other episode outlining our entire sales process, so I'm not going to do it here, but I am going to talk about the last section of the sales process, which I call reaffirming the sale. So I'm a big fan of you know psychology of influence and persuasion. So Robert Cialdini wrote the book Influence, which should be on your reading list if you haven't yet. And one of these seven laws of influence is what he calls commitment and consistency. And it's the natural drive to want to be consistent with whatever you say. So this last stage of the sales process is probably the most important part about getting your show rates up. Because you want them to get to that your prospect to double and triple down on their commitment to walking through your doors. And there's a few ways you can do this. I'll talk to you about it now. So let's imagine you go through, you qualify a prospect, you get them to commit to a time to come in for a training session or a sales consult. And the call is just about over. You've got them on the schedule. You're going to stop and you want to slow down the call. So instead of just jumping off, you're going to stop and say, hey, can I ask you a favor? Is there anything that could come up after we hang up this call that could stop you from showing up on XYZ date, it's a few days away. And my fear is that, you know, maybe there was something we didn't talk about or something that, you know, you didn't think of, but I, I just want to make sure that you're hundred percent sure that you're coming in. So you're putting some pressure on them to double down on their commitment. So sometimes you will get something like, Oh, well, actually it's my kids, you know, piano recital on that day. Like, I can't believe I forgot that. Is there another time? Now you've just overcome a future objection. You've made sure that this is definitely in their calendar. You force them to think about it again, or you'll get them to say, nope, it's in my calendar. I'm 100% there. I can't wait. And again, the best salespeople will go down even further and follow up with this question. And they'll say, all right, are you sure? And I always say the best sales calls end with, are you sure? And you get them to hammer that commitment and hammer that, you know, Commitment to showing up is incredibly valuable for increasing your show rates. So the key here is to just make sure that the time between the, them hanging up the phone and their appointment, that you say, hey, my fear is that something comes up over the next couple of days. Is there anything that any, any world that that could happen in? Or are you definitely going to show up? Because I just don't want to be standing here in an empty gym. That is the first thing that we hammer with our salespeople and coaches is to make sure they don't get off the phone without reaffirming the time for that appointment. Number two is an appointment confirmation and follow-up system. So 
lots of research into you know appointment show rates and without fail it all shows that the more touch points that you give them the more reminders without being annoying the better let's say you know you set an appointment on a monday for a thursday trial session uh, you would want a touch point every single day so immediately you want to reaffirm the sale digitally with a celebratory text message that just says, hey, can't wait to have you in. Maybe it's a photo of you or a video of your gym members or a video of your gym members saying, you know, hi, so they can see other people like them. The next day on Tuesday, you probably want to send a testimonial and say like, you know, it all starts right here on your first visit and look at what the future may hold for you and a series of testimonials of your most successful clients and testimonial videos and before and afters. Keep that excitement going. And then Wednesday, that's probably when you want to send any formal paperwork, maybe a waiver they have to sign, an uh, intake form, like an assessment form. Ask them to fill that out in advance. And the last thing you want to do, and you want to do this about a few hours before their appointment. So if the appointment's at 5.30 in the morning, this will go out the night before. If it's at 5.30 p.m., it might go out at 1 p.m. And you want to send them something that encourages a response. So you would want to send an automated text that says, Hey, got you all set for tomorrow at 5.30 in the morning. Hey, we always like to make this a great experience. What's your favorite type of music to play while you work out? I'm going to make sure to put that on the playlist, right? And then I'd be like, oh, shit, I love Vanilla Ice. And then you're going to make sure that that's there. But again, the important part is that they reply, right? Another option that we've used in the past is, hey, we give all of our members a free t-shirt. What size are you? Or we like to give a free protein powder sample so that you can help the recovery process. Would you want chocolate or vanilla, right? Ask a question that demands a response and just the act of them re responding taps into that idea of commitment and consistency that's gonna make them more likely to show up, all right? Now, the last element of improving your show rates, so this is number three, is reducing any uncertainty or friction, all right? If there is anything that could possibly show up or confuse somebody or uh, cause any level of fear or uncertainty, you want to get as far ahead of that as possible. So I'll give you an example. So one of my locations is in a CrossFit gym. Now, a lot of our members are not CrossFit demographics. They're in their 50s. They're usually overweight, which again, they can work out at a CrossFit, but they typically don't want to or they've been in other gyms and it intimidates them right? No, no hating on CrossFit, but these people that are coming to this gym are not CrossFit people. We are sharing a business with a CrossFit gym. So when people pull up to the parking lot, it's very heavily, you know, the signage is all about CrossFit. They usually have to walk through the CrossFit side of the gym to get to us. This can cause a huge amount of uncertainty and anxiety. So every message that we check in is, hey, when you come to the gym, you're going to park in this lot. This is for the CrossFit gym, but don't worry. We're in the front of the building. You know, you're not walking into a CrossFit gym. That's not who we are. Uh, you're just going to walk through here. And the more you can paint the picture of exactly what they're going to go through, the better the results are going to be. So if you did a video walkthrough or you had somebody film you saying, hey, I'm the owner of the gym. You're going to walk in through this door. You're going to follow me here. Don't worry about these guys. That's the CrossFit gym. You know, you can just wave to them and you're going to walk back to our studio where we're going to start our training session just like this. That's how you can remove as much uncertainty and doubt and fear. So if there's like confusing directions about the parking situation or, you know, the exact location of your gym, you just want to put that down and make sure that message gets to them. And if you can do it in the sales process, that helps too. But you want to make sure there's absolutely no reason that they are confused or anxious or scared about walking in through your doors. So if you install those three systems in your business where you reaffirm the sale with like double and tripling down on commitment on the sales call, if you build out an appointment confirmation system that has multiple touch points at least once a day that covers all of the fear and uncertainty, and finally you've taken all of that and you've built a system that reduces all fear and uncertainty across the whole process, you should be at an 80% show rate any day of the week.